Hey guys, what's up? It's Finch here, and today we're back for the last day of Hanukkah with one last special OU Live. This time around, we're pulling out all the stops and we're using a lower tier team. We got a screens hyper offensive team. We got Reggie Leakey, just dropped up. UU, gonna be screens. We got Necrozma. We got the Stealth Rock set here. We're gonna be leading with it here. It's got Meteor Beam. You don't wanna mess with it. I'm just gonna get rocks up here. We have a um, Belladrum Azumarill UU. We got Sword Dance, Thunder Punch Blaziken. That's UU as well. It's actually suspect in UU just recently. We have a Sword Dance Bishop taking advantage of the fog. And of course, we also have a Fly Gun because why not get some any rep in? And it's got a nice set that's kind of good lore. Fire Blast, Stone Edge, Earthquake. Got that Guard Jump thing going for it. So yeah, we're just going to go for that Photon here. But to see knockoff, that's fine with me. He's probably going to go Obstacle if I had to guess. So we're going to go Reggie Leaky now. Thank God he didn't go Toxic Spike. That's nice to see. Um, Anyway, I'm shocked you didn't U-turn into Obstagoon. We'll take it. You might have been scared of the uh, Meteor Beam, but it wouldn't have killed it. And it doesn't really do well against my team anyway. So, you know, we get the Regular League in. He goes Moltres, which is chill with me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Reflect here. He goes Landorus T. That's fine. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and fire off a Boom. Um, hopefully to block a Defog. I could, um, I could actually go to the... Yeah, he goes Earthquake. That's good now, because I can go ahead... And try. Um, I think I could just win the game here with Azumarill, yeah. So I can go for a Belladrum here, and I don't see anything that stands in the way of Azumarill just cleaning this game up. So that, that, that works out. Just don't crit me with Earthquake. That'd be really bad. Needless to say. <laughs> He's probably going to save this so to get it Intimidates off. But I might go for the Earthquake crit here just because he can. I guess that does make some sense. So yeah, he actually goes packs. So it's good for me. You now here, um, I'm going to knock off. Player to God, he's not Baneful Bunker, but without Black Sludge, I'd be surprised if he's Baneful Bunker. Um, Baneful Bunker in general is super uncommon right now as well, so that helps. But yeah, no, so I don't see a way out for him here. Um, he goes Landorus, so he does get one Intimidate, but even then, um, uh, Aqua Jet probably kills an uh, Obstacle, and it definitely kills Spectre. Player kills Clefable. Knockoff kills Pex at 80, I'd guess, so he's got to get like three fighters in. So I don't know if he's got much of a chance here. I think we might have prevailed with our UU team in the first game. He goes Clef. Okay, we're just going to go for the player up here. Yeah, we do hit. We take it out, of course. We have 1,526 attacks. I think that goes without saying. You know how it is. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think there's a way out. He could maybe get a haze off with a Pax later on. Even um, if he could, yeah, Obstagoon can't kill us either way. But Aqua Jet does kill that, so it's good. Um, we are in the clear. He forfeits. Yeah, that's a 1-0 for our UU Extraordinaire. This is going to be a bit of a short live, probably in the 15-20 minute range, because I got to get the OU uh, Gramosa vote up soon, but... With that said, I'm still liking this a lot. Um, Valarian Chansey, okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and lead with Necrozma again. I'm just going to get that Photon Geyser up against the Pex. If it's max physical defense, I could actually kill it. And we do 92. We'd, oh, it's Toxic. That's a problem. Okay, so we're going to get Rocks up here as he goes Clef. Now we're going to go Meteor Beam here. Thunder Wave. Okay, this is like real bulky. Um, is that Aroma? Um, okay, well, I don't know what ability it is then. But what I can do here is I can start going myself. I'm going to go Bishop here. That's fine. Now here, I'm going to go, um, you know, knock off here. Yeah. He goes to Shifu. That's fine. Leftovers are Shifu, sir. What are we doing? I'm just going to go into Krasma. It's fine. Hopefully he's not bulking up. You turn, you turn leftovers. I don't understand, sir. What are we doing? He goes back to Pex to get Regenerator, presumably. I'm going to go to Reggie Leaky here. And I'm going to get a spin off, I guess. Yeah, that's fine with me. I spin into the Landorus, he's leftovers, it's fine. I can just boom into this in case he goes for defog. He goes knockoff, that's good with me. Now I can go blaze again, outrun it, and try and kill it with fly buds. If he goes to Pex, then I can thunder punch it. Oh wait, why is he max speed lefties? What? I've never seen that ever, but okay. Well, we're back to the Azumarill plan. He knocks us off, but we can, um, we can just jet here, that's fine, I guess. I don't really love this position, but yeah, it's not the worst thing ever. Player up should kill this from 35, yeah. It's just a freaking unaware clef, so I'm not sure why I bothered to that, because it could actually kill this from full, but we'll take it as we go. Um, player up kills this here, though, so it's one kill. Um, I don't think Urshifu can live up Aqua Jet from here, and I don't think Sarka Punch kills us, so I think we might be in the clear. Knockoff should kill this, yeah, I'm surprised he let it go. Melmetal, yeah, wait, why didn't he go Melmetal? Melmetal would have, well, okay, Melmetal would have definitely lived in a knockoff, but... Especially after an Intimidate, but we'll take it. Um, weird play, weird team, but we're still in the... Um, yeah, we're in the 1700s with this, so we're winning in the 1700s with a UU team. Um, 
I guess that's chill with me. I mean, it's chill with you guys, chill with me. We're only at the five minute mark. This is crazy how quickly it's going. Oh, this 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 sample variant of the... Um... Okay, this is a hard matchup. We gotta win the game with the zoom reel again, probably. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and call him. I'm gonna leave Fly Guy. He's not leading Finney against the... Uh... He's probably leading Tar predicting either the Reggie Leakey or the Stealth Rock. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and get a lead on him by leading Flygon baiting into Finney and getting an Earthquake. Yeah, he leads Tar. That's good. So I can just get the Earthquake off here and it does 65, but he's not Ice Beam because his Zygarde's been. Why would you be Ice Beam in the post Zygarde metagame though? It's fine. Um, we can just go ahead and go for the play rough because that'll make sure it dies. And I don't think he's got really much of a switch in either. So he's gonna have to let this go here, which means the sand doesn't last forever. Okay, he's just. Oh, come. <sighs> Okay, it's fine. If I just hit two of these, I'm actually in good shape. I'd hopefully he triggers the berry with. Oh, he triggered berry with that one. Okay. So yeah, I, I, that that's really unfortunate because we just exhausted the wind condition. But at least it's out of the way. Um, Drake is out here. I don't have an electric immunity now though. That's the problem. Um, go Reggie Leaky here, and now Sand is still up. All I can do is boom and pray he's slower somehow, but he's definitely not slower somehow. So yeah. On the off chance that he is slower somehow though. He goes chomp. We actually do a million there. That's pretty helpful for us. So we can go ahead and just aqua jet this. I really don't want to. He hopefully he doesn't go drag salt. That'd be sad. Um, but at least it's wasting sand turn, so that's cool. Yes, yeah, so we get that out of the way. Now we can go back to drag result. Right, right, right. But I can just. I'm fine trading aqua jet for this. Yeah. And now here. Um, here I go blaze again, and he's going to fire off the tar some of swords dance. I got to get this. Oh, I got it right. Oh, he, I lived that. So I actually get two kills here. Um, do I Thunder Punch the Moltres? Yeah. I Okay, Thunder Punch the Tar works too. So yeah, that's plus two speed now. So I'm quicker than the Drake is ult. I'm slower than the Drill though, but I don't know if he's going to go Drill. Might be Adam and Drill as well. So if he goes Moltres, I, I Thunder Punch, but... Um, yeah, okay. I take the kill there. That's fine. Now here... Um, I gotta go into Crossbow and pray to God that he goes to drill. He goes Drake is all crap. We screwed. Um, yeah, so I just go Photon here. He why would he taunt? Why would he taunt? Why would he taunt? What? Oh, huge choke! Just please don't flinch me. Please don't flinch me. Please hit. Wait, meteor. I meant. I meant. To oh no! I meant. To I meant to heat wave. No. I meant to heat wave, dude. If I heat wave there, I won. Oh man! I hopefully I crit this. Damn it! If I, <sighs> you see, I had heat wave. There was only one po. God, and I don't have much time. Like, normally, if I, like, misclick like that when I'm, like, trying to talk over the game, I would restart the live because we're just, like, we're not even 10 minutes into live. Man, that's annoying because he got kind of lucky, and then that, oh, boy. That's, like, an excruciating way to lose. That that one bothers me because I would be undefeated in this live with the freaking UUT, but it's fine. We'll go for the reflect here. Um, it's not Scarf, I don't think. And on top of that, we're probably quicker, so, yeah. Knock off, fine with me. We'll get that light screen up as well while we're at it. D what? It's not a set though, like what? Fuck that. Um, it's fine. It's fine. We'll do the same thing we did before. If this is unaware clap, we lose though. I don't see why it would be unaware though, because he needs it for a million things. Yeah, he's probably gonna go to the uh, PAX fight, I guess. Maybe he goes to the Air Shifu, it's the Air Shifu water, he goes clap. All right, if this is unaware, I'm just done. I'm so done. Um, yeah, here we go. The most spikes weak team of all time with unaware clef would be ridiculous. Okay, we missed. That's bad. He goes Moonblast. It's also bad. Just gotta hit. Come on, let's hit. Thank you. It's unaware. Okay, that's just ridiculous. Why would it be unaware though? Like, think about it like this. Imagine you face a Ferrothorn. Turn one. And Ferrothorn 1v1's Lander is here with Leech Seed. You knock it off. The point is you can't keep spikes up all game. All of a sudden, Clefable takes spikes every time it enters, Spectre takes spikes every time it enters, or Shifu takes spikes every time it enters, Pex takes spikes every time it enters, and if Blissey ever gets knocked, it takes spikes every time it enters too. You see the problem here? I, I hope you do. All right, so yeah, this game is over. We have lost Unaware Clef, but it doesn't make any sense to use Unaware Clef on this team. It, okay, well, he just let it go. So actually, now we could win the game with Flygon if we get any chip on the Landorus, so... Maybe there's some hope, but we do lose Pokemon or Shifu every time. We'll go to Necroz, hoping he close to close combat. He goes Wicked Blow. That does mean we have a chance to set up with the Blaziken of his choice, though. And weaken the Landorus. He goes Pex. Okay, wait. Thunder Punch here. Wait, there's a chance in hell. There might be a chance. If he doesn't go Landorus here, anyway. 
bunker. <sighs> We've gotten like fucked by this. All right, well, that's rough. We'll um, we'll go, we'll go flare blitz here trying to catch the landers. I guess that's our only plot. We catch the landers. Wait, there's hope. There is hope. We're gonna go thunder punch here predicting the pecs because I want this alive now because I could use it as setup fodder for my flygon potentially. Yeah, we catch the packs. That's great. And now here we're gonna go flygon and. He's probably gonna go back to Landorus or something. Predicting the earthquakes. We go Dragon Dance here. There's a chance here. There's a chance here. There's a very slim chance here though. Um, Dragon Dance. Oh, please don't be toxic. Oh, toxic, baneful, really? But. <sighs> All right. Well, this game's over for obvious reasons. Yeah. Now here we'll just uh, we'll we'll uh, Stone Edge the Landorus, I guess. But then we could kill a couple kills with Earthquake, but. Obviously, the game's over, so we get that. Okay, we missed there. Yeah, the game's over. The game's very much over. Um, I don't know what to say. This one was just kind of infuriatingly impossible to win. So, yeah. It'd be that way sometimes, though. Um, someone actually left a comment in my video. They're like, expecting ladder players to use like, optimal teams is silly, but I guess my response to that is, like, yeah, sure, but I can't expect all the Clefable to be unaware because I have to prepare for Magic Guard Clef. And I can't expect all the teams like Speed Control because if they have Speed Control and I don't expect it, then I get burnt. You know, like, you kind of have to lean towards optimal because if you're suboptimal, then odds are the players are less efficient and therefore I can play around it more. So that's kind of been the rational there. It's a long-standing rationale, but, you know, like, games like that, you just say, okay, well, it doesn't really matter what happens. It just is what it is. It's just a game. If you lose, you lose. You just can't. You can't do anything to optimize your odds if you're facing something that's just kind of silly. Team Charm 69. Okay, buddy. Um, I hope you don't get wrecked because screw that. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're facing hyper offense here. All right, that's fine. We're just going to Meteor Beam turn one. I think, yeah. Actual Rocks turn one. Screw it. I want him up. Up, buddy, up, buddy, up, buddy, up. Okay, now we'll Meteor Beam. And honestly, I think we're probably going to be pretty weak to some things, so... Yeah. What? What? <laughs> Do I know you? <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on here, but okay. Um, okay, I, I, I am, like, I right am. <laughs> what's going on here, buddy? I don't know what's going on here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to pass on this one. Hate to break it to you, buddy. Uh, Okay, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I'm on the verge of ignoring the chat because I, I don't need this nonsense in my life right now. But I'm trying to play some Pokemon. It's a pretty radical concept. I know, I know. Playing uh, Pocket Monsters, one could say, is quite the uh, surprising strategy to do on Pocket Monsters um, Showdown. I know. Who would have think? Who would have thought? Certainly not me. No, no, no. No, sir. I'm going to heat wave here in case he goes Magirna, but he's going to stay in. And he's probably going to go Earthquake. He might go Boom Predicting the Flag on Yeah, he does that. That's fine with me. I can go Reggie Leaky here, and I can um, probably try and like two for one something, but I am super, super weak to that all lucha. So what I want to do here is I want to get spin and then boom off. Okay. Thomas spin first. He's going to light screen. Now I'm going to light screen, and he's going to reflect. I'm going to reflect, and I'm fine being in return behind because I got the rocks off. He U-turns, and now I could just boom into that Magirna probably. Or, you know what? I could save this. I can go to... Um, and go Blaziken here. And yeah, I could Swords Dance here. And now I could just Flail Blitz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just dies. And now I'm at plus two, plus two. And this guy's like screwed. Because I am Thunder Punch. Let's freaking go. He still lives it. The flex up. Duh. Let's not go. Let's hopefully live. Uh, wait, why would he go? Why would he? He gave us like, what, what? Why would he give us like, why, why would he? What? What? Why, okay. What? What was that play? That made no sense. Okay, I could just Thunder Punch this. It's gonna live, but it's so weakened now, and I've got Aqua Jets. Yeah, I, why would you do that? That's fine with me, actually. Um, you know what I can do here? I could actually uh, set up Light Screen again in case it's Quiver Dance. He's close combat, that's fine. I could set Reflect back up here. That's fine with me. That kills, but now here I can go ahead and go to my Azumarill and just Belly Drop. Actually, you know what? We wanna end this in style, do we? Yeah, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna end it in style. We're gonna end it in style, let's go. We're gonna go Flygon, we're gonna Dragon Dance up. We're gonna live a couple hits, and we're gonna sweep with the Flygon because screw you, my guy. I'm trying to pick fights, you just lost to a UU team. My man just lost to a UU team.
<laughs> oh, let's go. Let's go. Acro doing nothing. Not a problem at all. I'd like one more dragon dance for the road just to kill that Finny. Yeah, okay, now we just gotta hit a, uh, we gotta hit a fire blast. We're good to go. Yep, I probably shouldn't have risked that, but that's fine. Should have probably just went for one dance, but I wanted to get to sleep here. Very nice, though. Very nice. One way to spice up Blood Revive, that little mojo we got going there. So that's what I like to see. Ah, yes. Be nice. I am nice. Have a nice night. Ah, all smiles on my end, guys. All smiles on my end. <laughs> oh, this is what I do it for. Yes, I said it was, uh, it was a fact. And I played a smile. <laughs> There's nothing. I didn't really flame him or anything. I just said my man just lost me. I called him my man, and I said a fact, and then I smiled. I see no issue. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess this guy's going for like, so let's see what his GXC is. Choke Master. He's at 79 fight. Man, he needed this too. Oh, that's unfortunate. Maybe he wouldn't have lost to a UU team if he didn't shit the player using the UU team before the game. But you know, I guess we're gonna have to gatekeep your Rex. So thank you for the title idea. This is gonna make for quite a, a good one. I misplayed the chicken because I thought it, I didn't think about T Punch, but then why would you? I don't know. Yes. Flygon and you, Necro, are you, Rest, you. Ah, so that's what I like to see. Some multi tiered dominance. Ah, nice sweep for the road. Very nice sweep for the road. All right. Good game there. Um, You know what? We're going to close it with that. Yeah. So we get here from Rex. It's a bit of a shorter live, but this was sure as all worth it. Uh, good game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Tune will be down in the description. Check out the Twitter. Check out the uh, Discord. I don't know why I said Twitter with that accent. That was weird. Yo, I'm not doing that again. All right. Peace out, guys. Bye bye. Have a great night.